toy shop. Man, I got toys in the home car. Toys out of the box. Man, I got toys in my detour. Catch me at the toy shop. This one for them a real collector. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel Legends, imports, ACBA, we reference. Man, I got toys out of the box. Man, I got toys in my detour. Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Book Nice. Don't forget to go out, go on iTunes, and purchase the full uncensored version of my man Cheddar's song, Toys. Do that. Also, you have until this coming Sunday to order the limited edition Agent Venom ACBA colorway t-shirt. This is a limited edition t-shirt. So the first 30 or so people that order this shirt are going to be the only people who own this shirt you have until this Sunday the link for Cheddar song will be in the description below as well as the link to the ACBA merchandise site so each judge had uh, their own individual score sheet to download um, and it had obviously the names of everybody who was slated to put up a video in the competition and it had each category pose and effects props backdrop creativity originality and cutouts and basically what I did was uh, I would just minimize this uh, and just have the person who I was ready to score uh, visible and as the video was going I would start putting in my my uh, scores and I would watch it like two and three times and uh, mess with the scores and look at different things and uh, basically my process uh, for most things were um, if the video appear to me appear to be really good then I would look for anything that was wrong with it that I could see anything that was quite possibly wrong with it and then I would maybe deduct points if the video was quite obviously bad and it wasn't that good then I would look for any little thing that I can say all right well this is a, a great aspect of this display and then I would add points on um, but I'm going to go into more depth with everybody. I mean, you can see some of my scores right here, obviously, right now. But uh, getting back to the DMC, we're going to look at his video a little bit, being that he scored the highest in this round. You can see my scores for him right here. But I'm going to talk about my process and how I uh, look at videos and what I'm looking for. And we're going to go over quite a few videos. You can just go on the ACBA fan page on Facebook and you can uh, click the... Uh, events tab and, and find it and an easy way for you to find videos that you um, are looking for specifically is you can scroll all the way to the bottom of the events tab uh, you scroll to the very very bottom of the events tab where all of the videos are and uh, once you reach the very bottom if you uh, hold control and click F uh, you'll see in the upper corner here there's a little tab that pops up and you can just start typing in the name of the person whose video you want to see and the DMC has XXX at the beginning of his name and then that'll pop up and you can see here is his video and then we'll click on it and watch it immediately I'm looking at how you set up your your production we are looking at every video like a mini production like a mini movie uh, you know you don't want to take us outside or off your movie set when I see people recording and they take me off the set and take me out of the scene, I immediately look at props and backdrop and, and score that a little bit lower. He's setting up the scene here. Everything is looking good. The scene is contained. The props, the backdrop, everything is looking good. I'm already looking at that and I'm already saying, all right, he's probably going to get a 10 on props and backdrop for me. Uh, but really what stood out in this display and what really scored high with me and I think we're probably all the judges is the fact that the posing on this is immaculate the posing is completely on point it's not really anything that's out of place as far as the posing is concerned on this and the effects are really good the cutouts are really good I mean the only place that I really scored him low is on the cutouts I didn't give him a complete 10 because I think this cutout for Captain America could have been closer to his face and I think some of the other cutouts were just a little crooked they could have just been uh more horizontal and I thought that he could have probably cleaned up this blood effect a little bit so I don't think I gave him a, a 10 on on effects or cutouts but I'm pretty sure I gave him a 9 we'll look at that in a second but everything even the way this guy is laid out this guy is NSA all of that stuff is on point all of the feet are planted everything looks immaculate everything looks really good the muzzle flare and when we get over here and look at this here uh, 
the brat tat tat cut out i think that could have actually been closer to the gun but all of this with the bullets popping out and the stream effect and all of that stuff it looks great this is acba at its finest right here so i believe my total overall score for him was a 46 probably the second highest score that i gave um out of anybody and it was well deserved very well done sir now looking at the dmc scores uh no surprise there gave him a 10 on posing thought everything was on point uh, i thought it was one of the best posed uh displays out of the competition gave him a nine on effects because like i said the uh, blood effect on that one shield agent i didn't think uh, looked too good i'm sorry on the hydra agent i, I think it could have just been a little bit better and i, I wasn't um yeah, that was pretty much the only thing. So gave him a 9 on the effects, gave him a 10 on the props and backdrop. Everything was contained. Everything was clean. Everything looked really good. Never took us off his set. Uh, gave him an 8 on the creativity and, and uh, originality. Didn't, didn't give him a 10 because, I mean, it was just really nicely posed. It wasn't anything out of this world as far as the display goes, though. It wasn't anything that we've never seen before, but it was just really nicely composed and posed. And I gave him a 9 on the cutouts because, like I said, um, I thought that some of his cutouts could have been more um, horizontal and they were kind of diagonal. Some of them were just a little crooked. So overall a 46 uh, from me. I believe that was my second highest score uh, in the competition and really well done. Looking at some of the ones that I thought were the best and some of the ones that I scored the highest first. Uh, this was the video from Paint Samurai Customs aka JD. And this was very well done. There were quite a few still motion sequences uh, in the tournament. I think this was probably the best one as far as the motion goes. Let's go back just a little bit so you could actually see this unfold. Uh, each pose on a motion is, is very, very well done. He's got the back flip out, uh, jumps off this guy's chest into the front flip, and then lands on these guys over here. Uh, and I just think this was very well done. He did a very good job of, of creating an illusion here and hiding the way it was done. I mean, you could only really see that one stand in the first sequence of the still motion here. Uh, I thought some of the cutout placement was a little off and could have been better. Uh, and I thought some of these ting little uh, uh, flashes of gunfire here on the van could have been better. But I mean, it's a very well contained scene. I know for certain that he built this himself, not that that really, really matters or, or affects the the, uh, the uh, points in any way, but this was just very, very well done. This is ACBA right here at its finest. All of the poses were on point. Everything looked really good. Uh, again, it just, uh, just some of the cutouts probably could have been cleaned up a bit on this, but completely contained, never took us out off the set, never uh, took us away from the illusion. And this was just really, really well done. And he just goes back and forth and just shows you, uh, you know, everything. And shows you that there's no no tricks here. This is just straight talent and posing and originality and creativity. All right, looking at JD's score, uh, no surprise here. I gave him a 10 on the posing. I didn't really see anything that was out of place. I didn't really see any biceps that were... Uh, rotated the wrong way or any ankle pivots that looked crazy or anything that was insane even for the agile spider-man so it looked really good um, I gave him an 8 on the effects because like I said some of those ECOs and some of the uh, bullet ricochet effects didn't look too good and uh, one muzzle flare in particular didn't, didn't look as crispy as it could so I gave him an 8 I gave him a 10 on the props and backdrop the set was very well done never took us off the set Everything looked really, really good there. And I gave him a 9 on creativity and originality. Um, you know, it was a, a great still motion display, the best still motion display in the in the, uh, in the first round. And uh, it was very well done. I didn't really view the display as a crossover, though. I just felt like he used the, uh, the Joker goons as just some random dudes in Spider-Man's universe. I don't know what, what made me think of that right now, but I just want to point that out. And then I gave him an 8 on uh, on cutouts because, again, the ECOs, um, you know, some of those were cutouts, obviously, and um, they didn't look as clean as they could. His cutouts could have definitely been better. My advice uh, to him, again, would just be to uh, uh, print out those cutouts on cardstock uh, moving forward. So 45 overall out of 50, that's pretty damn good. Good job. So this was uh, another one of my favorites here, Christian. Um, 
and this was just very very well done overall this was one of the first videos that I saw um, and I had to stop myself from actually liking the video if you don't know here's a little fun fact though um, we're not allowed to like or comment or do anything on any of the videos as judges uh, once the tournament starts we got to stay completely neutral and I almost liked this video because it came out it turned out so well uh, I'm pretty sure this was his first video everything was on point uh, I mean the posing on this was great the effects were great he uh, used transformers which is not something that you see people uh, step up and try to do and ACBA too much I thought the placement of his cutouts was was very very good um, I just thought that this was a little bit short and it could have been a little longer. I mean, the only thing that you saw here was them attacking um, Soundwave. And it looked like the rest of the Autobots out in front were attacking somebody else as it comes here. But you don't see anybody else in the display. I think he could have taken it just a, a bit further and had one more enemy in this display. But all of this looks very good. The posing looks good. The muzzle flares, the cutouts, all of them are very clean. Uh, it's it's just beautifully shot. Look at this here in the, in the middle of the transformation and he used one of the Tamashi effects I believe there. Look at this whole scene right here. All of that looks very very clean. All of the cutout placement is on point. This was an excellent video. This is ACBA right here at its finest. So look at that CJ score. Gave him a 10 on opposing. Think everything looked really good. Uh, really really like that uh, mid transformation and I like how they looked in the running poses and everything looked really good to me there. Um, I gave him a, a 9 on the effects, uh, maybe even one or two of those little ECOs or the muzzle flares could have probably been a little bit better. I didn't give him a, a straight 10 uh, there. I gave him a 10 on props and backdrop. It was a pretty basic uh, set, but it looked good. He never took us off the set. It looked like it was just some um, rocky surface or some off-road surface, but it looked really good. And I gave him an 8 on creativity and originality. I thought it was pretty pretty cool. It was great that he used Transformers. Not too many Transformers displays in ACBA. But, I mean, it wasn't out of this world. It was just a, a little battle. But it was still pretty good. So I couldn't give him a 10 there. But I still scored him pretty high. And I gave him a 9 on his cutouts. Because, like I said, one or two of those uh, could have just been better. Maybe it was just the, the angle that he hit it on that didn't make it look too great. But my advice to him as well would be to... Uh, try to print out the cutouts on cardstock so no light or anything is shining through but 46 overall 46 out of 50 that's pretty good and uh you know these people that score really well uh they should be doing more of that next round and the people that were eliminated or were close to being elim eliminated should look at what they did and try to uh you know try to uh duplicate that not in a way where you're taking an idea but you know to just uh try to be as on point as any of these people and make your your setup as crispy but you know original the child prey 69 um i believe this was his first uh video definitely his first time entering the competition and i think he did really well i think he took the concept of of uh freestyle display and and uh not and the display not having to be a battle display for you to do well and he did well you know what really took this over the top though like what many of the displays with me that I really like was the posing the posing in this display is perfect everything looks very natural looks very real he's got a bunch of different anime characters import characters here sitting in the classroom and it's really nothing spectacular uh, but it is well contained he never leaves outside of his set the posing looks really really good on each and every character he took his time and pose each and every character to a T. I really, really like what he did here. And then we coming up here on, uh, see this guy about to poke Spider-Man and you can see the girl in the class and she's kind of looking back and look how her arm is resting on a chair. And all of that looks very, very nice. The props, everything that's supposed to be in the display is in the display. And you got the teacher looking like she's bending over here and scolding this guy. And then you got this guy like, bruh, bruh, bruh like, looking at the teacher's butt and that was hilarious and i thought this was just great you can see his chin resting on his hand there and these guys are playing some type of card game i mean this is just immaculate posing he only had one cutout you all you need is just one cutout in the display that's it he's got this guy drawing 
dick butt. <laughs> like, you know, this was just really, really well done right here, man. Very, very cool. Um, and, you know, one cut out. Only other thing is he didn't have any effects in this display. No effects, just the one cut out. So, again, you got to pay attention to every aspect, every category of the display. A child praise score gave him a 9 on uh, on Poser. Not sure why I didn't give him a 10. I'm, I don't remember exactly what it is initially that I saw that was that one thing that I was that was out of place there was one or two things that would not uh, let me give him a 10 straight up but again I thought the posing was really good initially I put a one here for his um, effects because I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to count that um, the exclamation point for spotty as an effect but looking back on it now really you should get a zero on effects and I think this point could really be applied to one of the other categories uh, I gave him a 9 on props and backdrop because although I did say in that segment that he didn't take us out of his uh, environment or off his set, there was a point where it did actually go off, so I didn't give him a straight 10. And you know what? Some of the edges uh, to the to the walls of the classroom didn't really meet as well as they should. I'm, I could have actually probably taken off another point there. Uh, so, you know, that's something to watch out for. Make sure your set is completely cont contained and, and, uh, and as, cl as clean as possible. Uh, I gave him a 7 on creativity and originality uh, because it, it was cool. It was a really fun display. You know, I liked it. I enjoyed it. But it was just a classroom set, and it was nothing out of this world. It wasn't anything that, uh, you know, that was never seen before ever. Uh, but, again, it, it was still a very fun display. I gave him a 7 on cutouts. He had the one cutout. It was handmade. Not usually a big fan of the handmade cutouts. It was, it was done pretty well. Um, but... Uh, you know, it just wasn't, it wasn't top notch. It wasn't, uh, you know, comic book quality. And, uh, had he, had he, uh, printed out one from online that was good and had it on the cardstock and had it looking great, then I probably could have given him a 10 on the cutouts, but still 33 decent score considering that one category, uh, was basically a zero. So good job from him. Here was another one that was very, very very well done uh, but he left out a certain aspect that he really needed uh, in this display um, and he actually still did well um, this was uh, Aldo Nelbert uh, just from the beginning looking at this scene it looks like it's an actual set out of the Hobbit I mean it looks great he did a very good job of blending uh, a real environment with props and and you know um, three-quarter inch scale stuff and just taking you from outside to inside one thing I didn't care for was I like the idea of how he did the cutouts here to make it look like old scrolls or what have you but I think they were uh, a little bit uh, sloppy in certain areas you can see some white there I think he could have touched up the sides with a little bit of uh, uh, of a sharpie uh, or even went over some of the print a little bit with, with a sharpie but everything here was so well placed so neat so clean I mean, look at all of the props and everything just looks amazing. Uh, I do know that these figures don't pose so well. And uh, I noticed here that uh, Frodo looked a little awkward, but I mean, it's not really much articulation on these figures. But just the way this was shot and the way it was put together was very, very well done. But he did not have any, um, any effects. So, I mean, he scored a zero from me in that category. I'm pretty sure I gave him a zero, but... Everything here looks great. This was a really, really well done set, and I look forward to more displays from, from Aldo. All right, for some reason, it's not letting me just record just the line uh, for the person whose video I'm critiquing. It's not uploading properly, so uh, you'll get to see everybody's scores as I talk about one particular person, but I'll highlight it just so you can see. But uh, looking at Aldo's scores right here, I gave him an 8 on the posing. Like I said, the... Uh, Frodo figure looked a little awkward, and really it wasn't much he could do with that, but I couldn't give him a 10, so I gave him an 8. Gave him a 0 on effects. He had a little fireplace in that display, and actually, if he would have just threw some fire in there, then he would have at least scored another 5 or 6 points. Uh, but I gave him a 10 on the props and backdrop. Obviously, that set was amazing. Uh, it looked really good. He never left the set. He never took us out of that little scene, out of that uh little uh environment and it, it looked amazing uh i gave him a 10 on creativity and originality because it's not 
every day that we see a Hava display or a Lord of the Rings display or anything like that. It was just a beautiful uh, uh, set, and I, I just thought it was very original and creative. And I gave him a 9 on the cutouts. Like I said, I like the scroll cutouts and, and how they looked overall and how he used it to tell a story. But I just think that on the edges, they could have been cleaned up a bit. And maybe the uh, print could have been um, highlighted a little bit more, darkened a little bit more. But he still did really well, 37 overall uh, for Aldo. Another one that I enjoyed here, Derek Barecki. This was his first time in the competition. I believe it was his first time doing a video display. And I think it was it was pretty good, but I think it was a little... He really, really relied on the less is more principle, and he could have did just a bit more uh, to advance. I believe he was pretty close to advancing, uh, but he just didn't have quite enough in his display. What he does have is very good. Um, the the Sentinel there almost looks, you, you almost you can't even tell that it's a cutout. This right here was the cotton effect with some light for the explosion there. The cutouts look very good, very vibrant, very well cut. It's a little funny idea. It's a it's a good scene, but it's just very very short. And uh, I think it, I think if he would have just added just a bit more, he probably could have advanced to the next round. So looking at Derek's score, even with all of that said, I still did give him a pretty decent score. Uh, you couldn't really see the posing on Deadpool too well, but Wolverine looked pretty good. And honestly. Um, Derek's posing uh, as he posts pictures in a group, I always tell him could use a, a little bit of work. And uh, I, I think he worked pretty hard on Wolverine there and the way that looked. But I couldn't really see Deadpool. But I think it was still above average and better than a lot of uh, posing he does on some other 6-inch figures that I've seen him do in different setups. With 3 and 3 quarter inch stuff or mini mates or what have you, you know, you you could mess around and, and not really have to do much. But I think he struggles a bit when it comes to 6-inch figures. And I still think he did really well on this display. So I gave him an 8 on the posing. Um, I gave him a, a 9 on the effects. Because, again, the effect was really, really uh, good with the explosion. I think the explosion could have been fleshed out a little bit more. The actual cotton effect on the explosion could have probably been just a little better. Uh, but he did a nice blend of ECOs and, and tangible effects and I thought it was really good not perfect but still a nine um, I gave him a seven on props and backdrop because you couldn't really see the full set again it was so short and it was so quick that I couldn't really see everything that was going on it wasn't really too many props it was contained he didn't take us outside of the set but I I didn't feel that I could give him uh, a 10 on the props and backdrop on this particular one as far as the props and backdrop go I, I take it on a case-by-case -case basis it, it has to make sense with your particular display and you know it has to we've got to I've got to see it I've got to see everything there clearly and I couldn't see everything there clearly um, on creativity and originality I only gave him a five now you're saying why that was that was really creative to you, I've seen Derek do that before with the Sentinel, and I've seen him do that in pictures and stuff before. And, you know, it just wasn't uh, a completely original idea from him. So, you know, I, 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 me, I am judging you on stuff that I've seen you do personally in the past or other ACB artists do. And, you know, I couldn't definitely just gave him an average score on creativity and originality. And then I gave him a 9 on his cutouts. I thought the cutouts, like I said, they looked really good. They were vibrant and big. I think the explosion sound cutout could have been horizontal, though. It didn't necessarily need to be um, uh, vertical. And, and that's why I didn't give him a 10. But still, a 38 is a very good score. Uh, I guess he just didn't do uh, as well as he could have done with the other judges and with his total overall average. And that's probably why he didn't advance. So here's another one of my favorites here, and at the same time, I was really disappointed um, by my man Nastashman here uh, because he did not go the distance on this display. What a well put together set. The posing was on point. Music, everything was good. Again, you're not being judged on the music, but just, you know, the overall production. Never took us outside of the set. Everything was on point, but he did not have any cutouts and he did not have any effects. So he scored zero in both of those categories, I believe, from me. Maybe I gave him a one in one of those categories. But this was just great. All of the props, everything was great. He's got the Joker and his goons busting into the hideout here and pulling the guns on them. 
and everything looks dope and Joker's jumping out the back of the truck with a gift and look at this everything looks really great he could have had one cutout for the Joker he could have had maybe some guns firing here and them already starting to shoot I mean I guess that's not really what he wanted for the scene for a scene but still if he would have just added just one cutout just one effect he probably would have advanced to the next round and and for the past couple of years he has been eliminated prematurely on technicality so this was very disappointing I would have loved to see him go to the next round but that's what it is if you don't pay attention to detail and you don't pay attention to every aspect that you need uh, to to have for the categories in your display then you're gonna be eliminated and this was such a great display uh, you know look at the pose in here on uh, this guy in the chair and how he's turning around everything just looks really good and the chair being knocked over you can see the motion you can see you know I think that's probably where I gave him one point on the effect of, with that chair and the motion there but this just looks great I'm really really disappointed that he didn't have any cutouts or, or looking at the stash bin score gave him uh, a nine on uh, posing thought the posing was pretty much perfect uh, a few little minor things that may have been off, but I gave him a 9 on posing. Gave him a 0 on effects. I actually thought I gave him 1. Maybe that was somebody else, but I gave him a 0 on effects. There was really no visible effects. I probably could have given him a 1 or a 2 with that chair moving there, but really not. Uh, I gave him a 10 on props and backdrop. I thought the set was completely contained. Never took us off the set. Everything was good. All the props made sense. Everything looked really clean. And where it was supposed to be clutter, it was clutter. It didn't look over over cluttered though on the display. It looked really good. Gave him a 10 on creativity and originality. I thought it was a really good uh, concept and idea. I thought it was different from some of the other things that we we've, we've seen. Uh, he he st he tends to like to do uh, Batman or DC displays, but it, it was still very creative and and original. And uh, unfortunately, I had to give him a zero on cutouts because he didn't have any cutouts. Uh, still scored a 29. He was still actually one point from having a minimum amount of 30. He was pretty much as far as my score was go, he was going to be eliminated by scoring a 29. But again, it's the average of every judge's uh, of score. But if your average is less than a 30, you're automatically eliminated and can't advance in any round. So like I said, disappointing there. Stashman is still one of my favorite few videos ACs. that didn't do well at all that did really bad actually uh this is the mass builders video and this just didn't really have enough of anything i uh, didn't have enough posing there were no effects there was no cutouts and it was just uh not a good attempt i mean uh he, the uh, props and backdrop weren't that great probably could have worked that out a bit more and um this is just uh, an example of what not to do you got to kind of flesh this out a bit more you got to go to distance you got to really really uh pose the figures and and make everything look clean and and contained and it just wasn't contained enough either so first time in a competition still give them props for coming out and doing stuff there was seasoned veterans who had a slot in the competition that didn't put up any video at all at least you tried uh, and don't let this dis discourage you from coming out next year. Take a full year to practice in the, in the ACBA group on Facebook. Get as much tips and pointers and stuff that you can there and come back next year stronger. We're looking at a Commander Bad Bots video and I honestly had no clue what was going on here until the very end of the video where he showed a meme of, of Spider-Man. I mean, this was just not enough. Uh, and uh, you know what he did have was just not well put together. It was sloppy. The uh, the um, shadows and whatnot showing up on his backdrop, and you know this was just uh, it could have been a good idea. It could have been funny if he would have actually fleshed this out more. Um, but you know even the scaling of this right here, the little kid doesn't really look like a little kid. It just looks like a little man in comparison to Spider Man. There's way too much grass and stuff here, and it's just not a good display it could have definitely been funny had he really just fleshed this out a bit more but basically the premise of this display is it was based off of us a, uh, a meme I guess from online see if I can get this here real quick uh, but you know just the fact that you need this to tell us what's going on in the display that's already a fail I mean if you just if you're not gonna be able to convey exactly what it is that you want the viewer to see in the display without having this at the end 
then it's no good. But basically it says, hey, I've got you covered, Billy. Hurry up and take a shit. So that's what that was supposed to be from. The kid that he used doesn't even look like the kid here. And, you know, if this uh, shrubbery and the forest and all of this stuff back here would have looked like that and it, he had at least put together a really good set, then, you know, maybe it would have had a chance. But this was definitely not enough, not as clever as maybe he thought it would be. And uh, obviously he did not advance. Another video here that didn't do well, uh, this is from iDynamite, and it actually has some decent aspects uh, here in the display, but it just wasn't enough. Just basically Hawkeye, um, I guess practicing his shot, he's in a, in a very small room, there's nobody else around, there's really no other props or effects or anything like that, and um, you know, this, this just wasn't enough for the first round of the competition. I will say the cutout work looked pretty good. And uh, Hawkeye's pose, even though it was kind of stiff, was, was okay. Uh, but this is just not enough. There's, there's nothing else going on here. And he needed to flesh this out a bit more, get more creative with it, maybe add some other characters or something like that, maybe make it where it was a competition between him and some other archer, anything else. But, uh, but you know, this just definitely was not enough. There's another video here that just wasn't enough. It wasn't contained enough. It wasn't clean enough. Uh, the cutouts weren't good enough. It just it just needed a lot more. Also, the, the big thing with this display was the scaling. These buildings and stuff were definitely not in scale with these figures. It did not work. You have to pay attention to every single aspect of your display, making sure everything makes sense. We're not going to just give you points for stuff that doesn't make sense. Now, uh, some of these poses were okay. You can see the knee resting on there right there. You know, you want to try to pull off the illusion. You want to try to make everything look as seamless as possible. And this was just not enough. All of this space back here, all of that stuff you can see, it's probably would have looked better if he would have darkened this a bit and maybe just had the light on these guys so you can't see all of those imperfections in the display. But uh, again, like I'm telling everybody who did not do well in this first round, do not let this discourage you. Let you learn from this and move on and be better and keep grinding. And there's Glenn out of nowhere. To show this real quick, another video that did not do well at all. And immediately you can see that the display moved. So he was immediately eliminated. There was maybe like two or three people that had that happen in this competition. I mean, this is in the rules. We took a lot of time um, getting the language and everything together for the rules and telling you what you can and cannot do and exactly how to do it. And this was just not... Uh, you know, you just didn't pay attention here. You cannot move the display in any way. There's one freestanding display. You can change the angles. You can shoot it from different angles. But as soon as you move it, that's it. You're disqualified. So now it's the infinite uh, was disqualified because of that. Uh, pretty sure he got like zeros across the board for most people. I actually tried to score his, I believe. I don't, I don't even remember. I have to look at it. But uh, and Darius is uh, display move too. So you move the display in any way, and that's it's it's a wrap. I don't think we was going to see that from anybody in round two. I can't see anybody in round two uh, making that mistake. But, you know, uh, this video is here just for, you know, this year and next year and for the future. So, you know what and what not. This video, before, I, before I end this particular segment, like I said, I'll look at some more videos. But I definitely want to take a look at Kid Sidekick's video. Um, this was extremely ambitious. This was a really, really good video. Could have been excellent. And I think he actually could have did less, and this would have been better. So I'm looking at this at the opening right here from the beginning. You want to make sure all your cutouts are horizontal. These are just a little bit crooked, but they look good. He's got the, the uh, Batman mini mates here. You can see a little bit of white on the edges of these cutouts here. Take a Sharpie, hit those up. He's got Nightwing coming in here. All of this looks really, really dope with these mini mates. And truthfully and honestly, I think if he would have just left this as just a mini mate display, it would it would have did just as well as all of this other stuff that he's got going on here. So he throws you for a loop right here, and he's got uh, sort of like a, some MSD action here. He's got the mini mates up there, and then he's got this transferring over into the actual six inch. Uh, DCUC characters. This glass effect right here looks amazing. This looks really, really dope with the glass, the uh, glass uh, crashing through. 
but Robin's pose I, I, doesn't look good at all. I don't really look, don't really like it. And you know, it's the DCU season. I mean, it's not much. Uh, it, it's not too much dynamic poses you're going to be able to get with them. But when he drops down here, he starts to lose points from me because a lot of this posing uh, could have been better. I didn't particularly care for how some of this smoke looked, even though I do like the idea of using the black smoke here as a smoke bomb and stuff. And I, I do like this action, the fact that it's a lot of action and stuff down here, but it's a little cluttered. It's, uh, it's a lot going on here. And again, I think that if he would have maybe left out the uh, this part of it or saved this for another time where you could go in here and really, really clean this up and make everything look good then that would have been good. That was a nice little touch right there, but I think the blood was a little clumpy. I really like this here. Uh, just this particular scene really stood out to me right there with, with the guy protecting uh, uh, Penguin there and stuff. But again, there was a lot going on in this small space at the end, and this is where he lost points with me on cutouts. Also, I didn't like how he pulled back the camera right here. He kind of lost us in an illusion. That was totally unnecessary there to actually pull it back that far. And he lost a little points with me with props and backdrop with that. But you can see it's a lot going on in this small space. So uh, my advice would be to just take your time and just, you know, don't do too much. You know, I mean, you obviously want to go all out. I, like I said, this was ambitious. It was what you want to do for the first round. Don't get me wrong. You want to try to go all out. But, you know, know your limits. Know your time frame. Know what you can, uh, you know, put in in the time that you're working in. And, um... Uh, overall this still was a great display you know but a lot of this posing look at that posing right there on, on black mass it just wasn't good enough you know certain things needed to be rotate that uh, rotated that looks really awkward a lot of this posing here and this scene down here just looked kind of awkward but still a very good display overall so looking at kid kid sidekick's uh, score gave him a seven on posing which was still pretty generous i think i probably could have actually given him a six because a lot of that stuff down at the bottom just didn't look as clean as it possibly could so that's just above average here with the seven i gave a lot of sixes and sevens and and posing throughout the entire competition but uh still still above above average um I gave him an 8 on the effects because, again, he lost me a little bit down there with the smoke and the gunfire. and Some of those cutouts just didn't look good. And, again, that was still pretty uh, generous on, on my part, I believe. And I gave him an 8 on the props and backdrop. Again, I didn't like how he pulled out and we saw that whole scene. When he had the camera close at the top with the mini mates, that looked amazing. All of that, that whole movement, the whole way that was shot looked amazing. When he pulled out with the camera and then when he showed the bottom and you can see how cluttered everything was it just lost a couple of points with me I gave him a 10 on creativity and originality because I mean still ambitious out of this world as far as creativity and just an original concept and uh, mixing a lot of different things he had ECOs in there he had um, um, uh, MSDs and just you know a lot of different aspects of ACBA and that's what you want to do when you really compete in a competition you want to try to uh you know impress and uh and i, I think it was impressive in, in terms of just the uh the risk that he took in the, in the display here i gave him an eight on the cutouts and again that was probably pretty generous because a lot of those cutouts could have could have used a little bit more work especially some of the ones that were layered and they just weren't layered good enough so my advice uh to kid sidekick is to just really really take more time uh and cleaning up your posing and your cutouts in the next round but still he did well 41 overall uh nine points from a perfect score that's still pretty damn good so we're looking at uh david turner's video here 08 win i guess is how you pronounce his uh screen name for youtube and i thought this set the actual set was really really well done obviously this took a lot of time and preparation and painting and lighting and all of that great stuff but i thought this particular display was a little premature i think if he would have waited it out and got wave five of the black series and had vader here or even some other characters maybe this is something that he could have saved for the third round uh but i thought it was just uh seemed a little incomplete i thought it could have it could have used some more filler some more characters some more props and stuff like that and i still actually gave him a pretty decent score because i mean everything did look pretty 
pretty clean. I thought the posing was pretty basic, though. Uh, and oftentimes, I think that uh, his his posing could could definitely use some some work. But I mean, what really really carried this is the actual set. The set looked good. Uh, this smoke probably could have been a little better. The um, cotton here. It's very hard to make the cotton look right. It looks decent. And I think he maybe could have used like another cutout just to kind of give us some symmetry on the other side or something like that. Uh, but even the way these guys are posed right here, still, I feel like it could have been better. I think they should have been a little more relaxed. There's no need for that guy to be holding up his gun. I mean, they're all kind of chilling. It just looks like there's a lot of space here, though. It should have been more. We know that in this scene there was more uh, people and more stuff going on. Australia's so, um... It was okay. All right, looking at another video real quick that I thought uh, that I really enjoyed. This was Billy Mahoney's video here. He had the Guardians here in a bar setting. I really like the look of this display, the lighting and everything and the props and everything looked really, really cool. What I didn't particularly care for was some of the posing and some of the cutout placement. A lot of these cutouts were just crooked. Uh, the majority of the cutouts were crooked. And that's something that he definitely needs to look at and anybody needs to look at moving forward. But his cutouts look good. I know that he made his own cutouts last year. I know that he made these two. And the actual look of the cutouts for the most part was really, really good. I really like that there, the way that looked on uh, uh, cracking on the, on the guy's back. But you can see all of these cutouts are pretty much crooked. That one's, that one's actually kind of straight, but and that one's straight too. But a lot of the cutouts just needed to be straightened out. Uh, I, I, another thing that I like that he does is how he personalizes the cutouts for each particular for each particular character. This was really funny with Groot playing the pool. This was just very clever and very cool, and it was a very fun display. And I think he did really really good here. Uh, you know, I remember last year he did a really fun display that was just one of my favorites as far as fun factor is concerned, as my man Junior would say. Uh, but, you know, I just think some of the posing could have been better. I don't really wait, like the way that looked. I think he could have really made this guy clutch his uh, his uh, lapel there a little bit better to make that look a little bit better. These guys at the bar look pretty relaxed. They look pretty cool. But some of the posing could have just been better. I don't really see how you're going to be able to pose this chick <laughs> that well. We already know how the articulation is there. But, uh, you know, but this was a fun display. It was a good job. So looking at Billy's scores, uh, real quick, just so you know, all of these uh, um, score sheets were put together with these different color coders and stuff. I guess you've probably been looking at that because I've been having all of this visible in the past couple of uh, critiques. But uh, anybody in red is an admin. Uh, purple means they didn't put up any video at all. Gray means they were late. And uh, I think that was pretty much it. But looking at Billy's scores, I gave him a six for posing. Just above average, like I said, I think that's something that Billy could work on. Uh, overall, is his posing could be a little more clean, a little more dynamic. Um, just uh, you know, it looks kind of kind of stiff and, and unnatural sometimes. Um, I gave him a seven on the effects. Uh, like I said, I really like the way that uh, the the stick breaking over the other dude's back, but I, you know, I didn't particularly care for how uh, Gamora looked jumping there. I didn't think that looked too good. Uh, but, you know, it was above average for the effects. It was still de decent. Gave him a 10 on the props and backdrop. I thought the set was immaculate. He never took us outside of it. Every, uh, I, I'm sure that took a lot of time. Um, you know, all of the props and everything made sense. There was nothing that seemed out of place to me there. Gave him a 10 on creativity and originality. It was just a very fun, cool display, and it was really within the theme of of uh you know of the movie and you know that's that's acba right there that's that's what acba is about uh you know is replicating the scenes from the movies or anime or manga or comics or whatever it is so uh, i gave him an eight on the cutouts because again i did like the look of all the cutouts i like how they were personalized and all of that and they were vibrant and visible but a lot of them were just crooked so that's something that he needs to think about 41 overall nine from a 50 very good Here's another one that I, I enjoyed. It was pretty good. Uh, it was a lot of good aspects, but I think towards the middle end of the video, things got a little confused and a little cluttered. 
uh, could have definitely been a little cleaner. This whole opening here, all of the props and everything looked really good. The uh, extra that he used right there, that's that's what that um, is called when you have an actual cutout representing another person there. It's called an extra. So uh, that looked really good. The pillows, all of these props, all of this stuff. This whole entire room right here looked really, really clean. And it looked good. And I, I really like the opening. I liked how he set up everything here. Uh, but, you know, as the video uh, went on, that looked really good, too. The uh, costume for Spider-Man as a cutout. Like, all of this stuff is very creative, and uh, it, I just thought this looked really, really good. Uh, but, again, as things moved on into this display, I feel like it just got a little bit cluttered, and, uh, and it was just, uh, he was losing some, some focus and stuff here. Uh, you see he's about to put on this light here, right here, so you can see what's going on. That cutout right there was just not good. The way that it's the way that it looks there, it should have been upright, and some of this smoke and stuff didn't look good. And I could see what he was trying to do there, but it didn't. It, the stem of that cutout should have been closer to Spider-Man, and I think some of this cotton didn't look too good. I mean, it looked like this portion of the video might have just been a little bit rushed, but it was ambitious and it was uh, it was a good risk. I didn't like the way that that cutout looked right there. Uh, it was a little too too close to the mouth, maybe. Uh, the actual cutout itself looked pretty good. I just didn't particularly care for the placement too much. A lot of this posing right here seemed a little rushed and a little sloppy. And um, uh, again, like this was a very ambitious display, though, and it was still a very good uh, try for the first round. This is what you want to do. You're going to go all out. Didn't really particularly care for how that arm was posed on Spider-Man right there, either. Could have rotated that bicep the, the correct way. Uh, but you know, overall, this still was a was an okay display. It was a decent display. It was better than okay. It was actually good, um, and I liked the idea a lot.